Hello, everyone. My name is Gus. Hi, I'm Woody. Today we have an interesting video from Dima, the scuba diving. I always forget the acronym, but it's basically the industry divers equipment manufacturing association. Yes, that's awesome. I could be. I, I think that's forget. it. Anyway, it's the scuba industry's yearly, um, you know, event that we've been attending for the last couple of years, and. This time around, Woody, you had to leave pretty quickly because you know you had some some other manners to to take like uh, work. take care of. Yeah, like work, like work. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> we didn't we didn't really get a whole lot of video and interaction with other booths. Although there is one interaction in particular that is, you know, I I don't know. I I I want people to judge what kind of uh, interaction you had. Uh, but I remember I, I remember one interaction I had, and I, it was quite enjoyable. I don't know which one you're talking about. But yeah, that, that's that's the one that I'm talking about. Oh, but yeah, uh, awesome. it's it, it's not safe for public, so I'm gonna I'm gonna only share that one with members. So if you're a member, go check out Woody's inter inappropriate borderline. Do you want me to replicate it right now? No, or? no, no. That's not no. We, oh, that's let me know if you need me to. Forget it. If you're a member, go check it out. But the other thing I did is because I did stay for a couple more days is I wanted to take the opportunity that we were in a conference with a lot of the world's greatest divers and experts and ask them a question. So there's a, there's a big conversation that rages on, on the forums and online and all of that, which is about the use of air integration, which are the transmitters that you put on your first stage that will report to your computer how much air you have left. That's air integration. Some divers say that's unreliable, the transmitter can fail, you know, you're crazy if you use them. Some other divers love them and depend on them. And some other people are kind of in defense. Like people say, you know, it's okay if you use them as long as you have an actual old school submersible pressure gauge or SPG, right? So you and I have talked about this, and we both dive with air integrated computers. Absolutely. Absolutely. But we're not, we don't, I don't want, I didn't want to say, well, we both do it, so everyone has to do it. So I went and asked like 10 experts what they do, and so they can share with us. Didn't go into too much detail, just do you use air integration, yes or no? Do you have a backup SPG, yes or no? That's it. Now, you, you haven't seen this. So By I the want way, you to I try always to guess. It, I always called it a signal pressure gauge. You called it a submersible, submersible pressure gauge. That's that's, that's the actual name. So it's submersible pressure gauge. But I want you to try to guess based on the person whether they use an uh, air integration or not, and whether they have a backup SPG or not. And let's see how many you get right. This is like wait, a game. So, so wait, one more time. What am I guessing? Whether it's or not like, they it's use like a game show. You're going to see the person that I'm going to ask the question, and then I want you to try to guess if they use air integration or not. And if they do, do they have a backup SPG or not? Okay. So we'll see how many you get right. You ready for this? Yep. All right. All right. So first up, we have Luis Pedro. He's the CEO and CEO of INTD, Avid Cave Diver, Rebreather Diver. What do you think? You think Luis both. uses? Yeah, no, I'm both. Air integration and SPG? All right, let's see. So, Luis, air integration, yes or no? Yes. Do definitely. you use a uh, backup SPG? No. Ah. No. Oh. It, it kills the purpose. <laughs> there you go. Bam. There you go. Yeah. And by the way, can I can I say what I what I use? Or yeah, yeah. It, go ahead. I I, I used a signal a submersible pressure gauge, and at that point, I absolutely don't also. I mean, I use air integration, and then I yes. don't use an SPG after that. I mean, they're Just super like reliable. The Shearwater, you know, transmitters are super reliable. That's yeah. the ones I use anyway. I'm just Same. saying, everybody, know. I'm not arguing that you should or should have, but I absolutely don't also then use an SPG. Yeah. Same for me. Um, you know, I, I don't rely on SPGs as a backup. I just use air integration. Okay, All right. So, so now so we for have the, for the, So for the record, I'm 0 and 1. <laughs> All right, Medi. What do you think Medi Medi does? I'd say I'd say 
<laughs> Transmitter only. Transmitter only. Here we go. Can't remember. Uh, All right, Matty. Come on, Matty. Integration or no? I uh, wish I could, but I'm too broke to have any integration. <laughs> if I had, yes, absolutely. Oh, with, half uh, credit. Backup SVG? Uh, no, I don't think. I think it's redundant and defies the purpose of having. That's my technology. boy. <laughs> That's my boy, Matty. But look, I think I should get some credit there. I mean, okay, he can't afford it, but he would. <laughs> he would use air integration without the SPG. Absolutely. Okay. All right. So next up is Ben Boss. He is he's a badass diver. He's the training director of UTD. So what do you think? UTD is like a GUE, a DIR agency. I think that he is going to be a SPG guy. Okay, let's see. So Ben, air integration or no air integration? In, in a, like a transmitter? Yeah, for you. Do you use air integration or not? No, no, sir. No? no. no. Why? Because it doesn't provide me with any benefits. I actually deduct some of the benefits I get from an SPG. Well, there you go. You got it right. So, so two, yeah, exactly. a two correct, one wrong. It's, it's interesting to see the different perspectives, you know, from okay. world-class mm -hmm. divers. All right. So Joe Boskis, he works for Divesoft, also cave diver, rebreather diver. What do you think he's going to say? Air integration, no SPG. Okay, let's see. All right, Joe, do you use air integration? Do I use air integration in yes. the transmitters? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Do I... you use a backup SPG? Do I use a backup SPG? Uh, yeah, I can have SPGs on my units as well. How about that? So he mm. uses backup SPGs. He had to think about that for a second. I wonder if it was because you asked him like, oh, like almost like, oh, I I'm on film here. I better say I also <laughs> use, you know what I'm saying? That's my, no, I'm not, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to, I'm not calling him out. I, I, I believe like, him, but it seemed like he was like, well, I'm on video. Oh yes. I also mm. use an SPG. <laughs> I did. A, I did hear the hesitation. I agree. You know what I mean? He was like, so, eh. Lawyers, <laughs> lawyers, lawyer. Why would lawyers, lawyers are going to play this on dive talk? Oh yeah, yeah. Back up SPG. Oh yeah, I have two. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. By the way, none of these people knew that I was asking them this question. I literally walked to them with a camera and asked them. So no warnings. They didn't know. All right, I'm so. going to put my neck on the line because I'm very good friends with Randy. <laughs> so if I miss it, I'm an idiot, right? <laughs> what uh, do you think? I'm going to have to go with both. Ooh, okay, let's see. So, Randy, do you do air integration or SPGs? I do SPGs. No air integration? I do SPGs. Wow. I'm old school. <laughs> I know, but I thought, you know, you are the owner of a very modern pre-breather <laughs> company. I figured maybe by now you would have, uh, no? Okay. It's cool. Old school. Not, hey, SPG reliable. And, you know, Randy is uh, a very safe and incredible instructor, trainer, trainer, trainer of cave diving. <laughs> so no problem, sir. So uh, I guess but, you're like two for four. So about half and half. There you go. Yes, yeah, so solid. All right. So Mark Powell, <laughs> he he wrote uh, Deco for Divers. He's an author and he's a badass diver in the UK. So what do you think? UK. Oh, damn. I'm going to go with. I, I just got, I feel like I'm going to go with the, uh, I think he's probably sticking with the SPG. Okay. Let's see. Mark, air integration or SPGs? Um, I tend to use SPGs, but uh, actually, I think uh, it's just waiting for the right the right tool. Um, I like on the on the XCCR, for example, you've got a, an actual physical hose, but you've got the display on the, the handset. So I think that's the best of both worlds. But technology moves on. So in three years' time, I'll probably be using air air integration. Thanks. But for now, he said I use SPG. <laughs> that's right. For okay. now, he said. All right. So then we have Brandon, who has been on the show before. He is a rebreather and cave instructor. So, and he's diving his kiss 
right here. What do you think Brandon uses? I'm going to have to go with... Come on, Brandy. You don't need the SPG. <laughs> you love your transmitters only. All right. Let's see. Are you air integrated or SPGs? Air integrated. Do you have backup SPGs? Nope. <laughs> nope. Not even a chance. All right. So this one you have to get right. Doug, he's been on the show. We dive with them often. What do you remember from Doug? Air integration, yes or no? I think he uses both. Okay. I, 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 I'm just, I'm pretty sure. Doug, air integration, yes or no? Caveat. Uh, oh. Yes, but I always have a backup SBG. Oh. <laughs> there yeah. you go. I, I remember that. He talks about that. Yeah. Uh, this is Tech Clark. He does too much, so I put he does a lot. He's like he has a podcast, Tech Diver. He's the director of a bunch of things. Anyway, look him up, Tech Clark. Uh, All right, yeah. What do you think? I mean, I mean, Tech Clark. <laughs> he's an air integration <laughs> only, and he's ditched those old fashioned SPGs. Let's see. Tech air integration, yes or no? No. What? The reason why is specifically physical and the physicality is is that our dive program and what we do is so intense in rescue that we have had those break off over and over and over again the transmitters from the first stage because of handling gear and and, and the way that we're doing it so we don't i wasn't even close i was so def i was so <laughs> and i was so confident no. in that one right <laughs> Well, oh, but he did okay. say that if it's not because people broke them, you know, they would probably use them, but they break a lot. He's like the director of school for like a college. So they teach, uh, you know, college oh. students how to be rescue divers. All right. Last on the list, we have Aaron. I you think know. he would. I do think Aaron would be both. I think mm -hmm. Aaron would be both. Okay. I, I really respect him a lot, but that that's what I think he would do. Aaron. Hi. Do you use air integration? Yes, I do. Do you have backup SVGs? Uh, no, I don't. I didn't do too well. I know that, but <laughs> I think uh, I I like the way you said this at the start. You know, um, it's okay. Like this is okay. You don't have you. There's nothing wrong with doing both. With not yet adopting the transmitters, but as all I'm saying, Gus, is that. I do personally believe that the transmitter technology now has come so far. I find for Woody it to be extremely reliable. And I've never had, especially the new Shearwater Swift transmitter. Mm -hmm. I've never even had it break a signal, let alone not work. You know, sometimes it'll have to reconnect yeah. the older ones. I've never even seen the Swift do that where it's like no signal yeah. for a second. That's how reliable that one's been for for uh, my rebreathers, and I tend to have them on uh, both. So, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, very they're awesome. But I think you know, again, this is for people asking, what's the best way to do it? There is no best way to do it. It's like the best divers in the world go, you know, back and forward over, you know, what works for them and what doesn't work for them. Um, I think there's a lot of personal experience involved, of course, and um, you know, we want to talk about those things that's what dive talk exists you know and i had some conversations about other topics while you were gone as well and, and you do have you, these people trying to push you know for well if you do it that way you're an idiot and i hate that no nah, i don't believe that i don't like that that either what do you think i i think ed would be transmitter only i think ed is uh ed would be like transmitter only and if i don't know how much air i have i don't even care <laughs> because I already know I planned enough and I always know always how it's working for me and you should know how it's working for you anyway. You know what I mean? That's his philosophy. Yeah. So I, well, we I didn't... Uh, by the way, I didn't interview him. I don't know. He never told no. me this. I think he would be transmitter only, but I, I don't know. Yeah. But the reason for this video is also so for the divers out there watching this comment below. How do you do it? Right. Again, there's no best way. You don't have to push your way over anyone else's way. Just comment below. We're doing this public service, you know, for the scuba industry. And in case you didn't see our video from last year's DEMA, I'm going to leave it right here. 
And you're not going to show the special moment I had. I mean, members only. Giving everybody members only. Members and only. And you do you not want a demo before I leave. No. Join For everybody below. Everybody out that's wondering. No. Join below. Become a member. Off camera, do you want a demo? 